Okay, when I wanted to make this video, I just uh, wanted to write a script for it, you know. For this video, when I was writing my script, for one moment I just thought to myself, uh, who cares that what happened to your 24th birthday? And immediately I wrote who cares in the script. And to not exaggerate, immediately I had the answer. The answer was that I care. Even if people don't care, I really care. Why? Because all of the videos that I made, and I'm gonna make videos in the future times as well, all of them are having some nostalgic feeling for me, you know? I, uh, I look at my grit and in Instagram on YouTube as something like albums, okay? So, even if people don't see my videos, which they don't right now, they just see about 10 views, 20 views, 15 views, I don't know. Even if it's totally discouraging, but I consider making videos as something that I like because I can look back at it, you know, look back at my videos when I'm in, in my 30s, in my 50s and say, dude, you are so young, you were talking about these topics. I can show these videos to my children in the future, to my friends in the future, and that would be something nostalgic, you know? So the first reason why I make videos is because they have some real valuable meaning for me. And that's it. Okay, before I start, let me introduce you to my new room which is my new set for another two months, I think. But uh, focus is not auto, it's manual. This is my room for the next two months and I will make some of my videos here, but then I will be moving to another location, which is another country, surprisingly. Okay, so. I think the sound here is so echoing, don't you think? Okay, yeah, a lot. So, I don't have a good set, you know? I just dream of staying in one place for, for at minimum for around two years, okay? Just to be stable, my mind don't think about any relocation and stuff to just make a backdrop for myself. That's my only backdrop. Whenever I go, I only have this, uh, what are they called? String lights, yeah. I only have these string lights with myself. This is my only backdrop. This is the only thing that I can make my scene beautiful, aesthetic, and stuff like this. But seriously, I look for some place that I could stay for at least two years. That I could invest in my backdrop anyhow. <sighs> okay, uh, so today I want to talk about... Uh, today I want to talk about... I think it was a... Uh, I think it's a carrot. What did I learn in my 24s? You should, should I say 24th or my 24th birthday? Oi, oi, or should I say 24? I don't know. Man, I'm learning German. Okay, so my, pardon me if I don't talk very nicely in English because German really fucking disrupts your English, okay? So, Let's talk about the thing that I was going to... What the fuck am I talking about? Okay, last month I became 25 years old and... And who cares, really? But I just, I just want to make a video out of it. Well, last month was my 25th birthday and... In February, in case you don't know. I was thinking to myself that... What? Does it feel to be 25? You know, it's not something special. Everyone gets into 25 and no one record a video out of himself because he's 25. But uh, 
I was thinking that if I were at my 10, if I were 10 years old, and now the 10 year old me seeing me that I'm 25, something like Christopher Nolan movies. I thought that 10 year old me told himself that this dude doesn't look so much different than me. But the thing that I'm trying to say is that I don't feel that much of a difference between when I was 15 or 10. It doesn't matter, you know, you can't feel. I think all the people are, are like this, uh, that they cannot feel the number. That's why, seriously, the number doesn't matter. Because it doesn't, I don't think I feel differently when I get 35. I'm 25 right now, 10 years later. What would happen? I think a lot can change in your physical world, but in yourself, the thing that doesn't change most of the time, your essence, you know what I mean. Your essence doesn't change. You always feel that you are that kid that you were. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you that we shouldn't care about the number of our ages. As long as you do what you love, that makes sense. Because number is just a number. Most of the things that we believe in are fabricated by the society. So just fuck it, do what you love. First advice of 25. Okay, so now let's just talk a little bit about my story. Well, everybody has a story and I probably think that most of the things that I say and most of the things that people say about their lives before are a bit distorted because our memory doesn't work really good. 50% of our memory changes in just one year. So don't believe most of the things that I say because this is our brain. Our brain is so creative at making nonsense. I want to say that I would never have thought that I become some become a person who cares about books, self-development, self-improvement, you know, productivity, stuff like this. Because, you know, as a teenager, my passion was always to become a football player. For my American viewers, which is none, I believe, a soccer player, not that football that you punch each other and stuff like this. You don't actually punch, but you, your body punches with each other. Actually, for a football player, it's not necessary to be educated or read books most of the time. I'm not saying not at all, but yeah, that was what I, what I thought to myself because I want to be a football player and I really was a good football player. I had so much talent in football, but unfortunately, I couldn't pursue my passion. And I had some struggles to find an alternative way in my life, which unbeknownst to myself was an educated life because, you know, my dad is a professor in university. We have two big bookshelves filled with books in our house. And unconsciously, I think if I was a football player, I would be an educated football player. Anyways, I found an alternative way. My alternative way, besides being a football player, uh, really solidified itself when I entered the, in the University of Tehran, the second top university in Iran. So that was a huge change for me because it was a different place. You know, I don't really believe in top universities because I myself quit the university. I believe top university is good, but you have to get the point and get out. You know, it's just like a book. If you got the point, just get out and do your own job. I wanted to be practical. It's something that universities won't let you to be practical. And what I trying to, what I wanted to say is that my educated life started when I entered this university and it really helped me to think more solid, you know, to think more scientific. This event entering the one of the top universities in Iran, plus the thing that happened between me and my dad, 
spark the journey of me being a bookworm educated and literate person. I don't consider myself as these, but society deem us people with glasses, which I... Now I'm a bookworm. How are you? Okay, the other reason that I forgot to mention was the GRE test. I was getting ready for GRE test from, I don't know, from when I was 20. I just constantly studied for a GRE test and I did it twice when I was 23 and this year when I was 24. So definitely, although I know that chests, chests, although I know that tests are bullshit and are really stressing, GRE test is one of the best tests that you can take. Not to mention that it has a lot of benefits for your resume and application. Also, it has some really good benefits for your mind. You know, the first time that I introduced to the uh, concept of critical thinking was when I was preparing for a GRE test. And, you know, GRE test teaches you to think more critically and clearly. So, yes, GRE test, top university. My dad, which I'm gonna tell you the story right now, Okay, this part may sound a lot like a story. As I've told you at the first of the video, most of the things that I say might be distorted because our memory doesn't really work really well. But we think that we remember everything, every detail. But I can assure you that all the things are distorted. So about this thing, I remember that I was just sitting with my dad and we talk a lot about scientific stuff, you know, because as I've told you, we have an educated family. I'm not saying this to brag, it's just a reality. I just want to say that how this educated environment has some effects on the children. And this is really important. I was just sitting with my dad and I remember that I told him that I don't have well, I talk in my native language, you know, in that moment. But to translate it, I told him that, Dad, I, I don't have so many good friends, you know. I was just learned about this uh, quote that you are the average of the five person around you, five close people around you. And I was really concerned that I don't have so many good or influential people around myself so that I could be the average of them. Anyways, I was really concerned about this and I've told my dad that dad, dad and dad, best and test. This video has a lot of rhymes. Yeah, I was just telling him that I don't have so many good friends and this is really concerning for me. You know, what should I do? My dad told me one of the best sentences in my life and he told me that when you don't have a lot of good friends around you you should be friends with books and <laughs> this is a typical sentence but it was so influential for me you know this was something like an aha moment for me that when you don't have a lot of good friends around yourself you should stick with the books and try to learn from books not the people and that was it, you know, before that, this happened when I was 24, okay? Before that, when I was 23, let me tell you something, I didn't know about life. I didn't know anything about life until I was 22, okay? <laughs> okay, right now I'm editing this video, this video that I just shown you. It's one of the oldest videos that I've taken. I just found it in my hard drive. And it's so old, I cannot remember when exactly did I record this video, but the person that is eating me is my best friend. Shout out to Daniel. At the start of the 23, I just realized what is life, what are you doing in life, stuff like this, okay? so. I was just a complete dumb before that. And in 23, I just started to forcibly 
try to read some books, you know, because books are great and all the people say that, including me. It was just forcibly, it was just on force and it didn't feel right. So I just, I remember that my first book was Quiet, I think it's about introverted persons. And when I got 24, when I entered the University of Tehran, when I did a GRE test, when my dad told me that sentence, I think another time I'm just I'm just telling this is a story that I made for myself as these three mysterious substances gathered together and sparked a new a journey for me in my life and stuff like this that might help give meaning to my life you know but I know this is a story to just wrap it up that was the three reasons why I entered this lifestyle as you may say So to wrap it up, um, I really felt amazing when I started to read books. You know, in my 24, I didn't forcibly read books. I read books because I didn't have so much influential people around me to, to be an example for me. So I had to find examples from books, from successful people. If you have some exemplary people around you, definitely learn from them. But if you don't, as most of the people don't have, you should stick with the books. I can tell you without any exaggeration that you can live for two or three or four decades and don't feel a lot changing in your life. But this year from 24 to 25, a lot of things changed in my mind, you know, it's about mental model. I'm not talking about the thing that I've talked at the first of my video that I don't feel so much different. I can guarantee you if you start reading books not on force, you know, not to just show, to brag that I'm a book reader or a book or stuff like this. To just read books because you need, because you feel the need in yourself. I can guarantee you that you can feel the change in yourself. I had felt this with all honesty, okay? I'm not exaggerating in this. Okay, that was it guys. Thank you for watching. I know this video was a bit long, but it was about my story, it was about my new set, it was about a lot of things, okay? I talked a lot. If you've watched until the end of the video, please comment below with a emoji of eggplant, maybe. That's that's just an idea, okay? Eggplant. It does don't think much more about that. Just an eggplant. Thank you again for watching. If you liked it, drop a like below. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel, consider hitting that red button. I will see you in the next video, until then keep it safe and uh, peace out, as always, bye bye, should I do the thing?